Ship of Gold in the Deep Blue Sea by Gary Kinder is a captivating non-fiction work that delves into the story of the SS Central America, a steamship that sank during a hurricane off the coast of South Carolina in 1857. This meticulously researched book explores the historical significance of the ship, the tragic events leading to its demise, and the modern-day efforts to recover its treasure. Kinder's narrative skillfully intertwines historical accounts, personal stories, and the quest for lost treasure. He paints a vivid picture of the societal context of the mid-19th century, when the SS Central America was a critical link in the transportation of people and goods during the California Gold Rush. The author vividly describes the ship's opulent interiors, drawing readers into the luxurious world of those on board and providing a stark contrast to the impending disaster. The heart of the narrative centers around the ship sinking and the harrowing experiences of the passengers and crew. Kinder creates an atmosphere of suspense and tension as he recounts the struggles faced by those aboard the ship in the midst of the hurricane's fury. Through personal accounts and historical records, he offers a deeply human perspective on the tragedy, making it emotionally resonant for readers. One of the book's strengths is its portrayal of the aftermath of the shipwreck. Kinder follows the survivors' journeys, both physically and emotionally, as they grapple with the trauma and loss. He also details the public response to the disaster, which had far-reaching economic and political implications. This section of the book showcases the author's ability to weave together historical research and individual narratives to create a comprehensive and engaging account. Interwoven with the historical narrative is the modern-day tale of the quest to recover the ship's treasure. Kinder takes readers behind the scenes of deep-sea exploration, introducing the pioneers of underwater archaeology and the advanced technology used in the recovery efforts. This adds a layer of excitement and intrigue, as the author describes the challenges of locating and excavating a shipwreck lying thousands of feet below the ocean's surface. Throughout the book, Kinder navigates the complex ethical considerations surrounding treasure recovery. He raises thought-provoking questions about ownership, historical preservation, and the commercialization of artifacts. By presenting various viewpoints, he encourages readers to ponder the balance between the pursuit of wealth and the preservation of history. Kinder's writing style is both informative and engaging. He skillfully integrates technical details about ship construction, underwater exploration, and treasure recovery without overwhelming the reader. His descriptions are vivid, enabling readers to visualize the scenes and empathize with the individuals involved. In conclusion, Ship of Gold in the Deep Blue Sea is a masterfully written exploration of history, tragedy, and human determination. Kinder's seamless blending of historical accounts and contemporary endeavors creates a multi-layered narrative that appeals to a wide range of readers. By shedding light on the SS Central America's significance and the efforts to recover its treasure, the book prompts reflection on the intertwined nature of wealth, history, and human ambition.